Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. This is the next video in the Django security series. And in this video, we will talk about password reset. So how to reset a user's password um, if you know he for forgets it, right? So let's get right into it. Okay, so here we have the welcome page or the index page and uh, there is an option to log in. And somewhere here, I want to put an option uh, or put a link to um, reset the password if he forgets it right so let's go ahead and add that particular link that would be in where do we put ah, GitLab. sorry uh, hmm. login in the login part here i will add a link save forgot password yeah let's go back okay i will add small margin to the start here we have it right and also i don't want to have this uh, underline so that i will put style mm, text decoration is none Let's say none. Refresh. I lose that. Okay, so we will be referring to this particular um, documentation uh, where uh, they have all the um, views related to password reset. Okay, so the first view that we'll be using is the password reset view. Okay, and so this is the view that will be shown to the um user when he clicks on this link okay so i will add the url to it url will be password reset yeah so this will be the url next we will add a url path uh, for the password reset link so i'll say password reset auth views dot password reset view dot as view because this is a class based view name is password reset yeah so this is the view that we are using that we are getting from here password reset view. okay so now what happens is from the url when whenever a person clicks on this link it will go to this view now this view looks for a form uh, for an html file called password reset form.html under the registration uh, folder okay so let's copy this and add this within the registration folder which is under the templates folder we'll add this file called password reset form okay now this is basically a, a, a form to enter the email id to which a password um, recovery link would be provided okay so let's copy the structure from login and makes just minor modifications so here we'll say send recovery emails okay similarly I'll mention here send a recovery email form is same and here I'll just mention send and here I'll just mention login because I, I want to go back to my login page from here right and here I'll just remove this right rest everything remains the same okay so let's go back to the browser and see how it works now refresh this click on forgot password i get this form to enter the recovery email okay so now we can enter the recovery email which will have to send a um, recovery email with a password reset link within that particular email right email okay so next we have to uh, create the email which will be sent to the user so for that uh, if you see in the uh, documentation there is a uh, email 
uh, sorry html file called password reset email dot html which should contain this link uh, in the email okay so let's copy this and go back to our editor create the file called password reset email dot html and enter this link here So if you see these are all uh, placeholders so protocol will be either http or https domain name would be your domain name and then this is basically the url to, sorry the yeah the url uh, of the of the link right so let's add a few more things so let's say hi we have received a password reset request from you please click on the link below to reset your password you can just a demo kind of uh, email template right so the email will be sent in this particular format so we can make it as fancy as possible using html and inline css um, it's up to us we can make it really really um, stylish if we want okay that's entirely up to us how to style this particular um, recovery email okay just that this is the link that needs to be provided okay we have to provide this uh, as the link right that's the only thing so now once that is done uh, whenever the user uh, enters the email id an email uh, um, will be sent in this particular um, format okay in this particular template but um, to send this particular email we need few um, settings right so there are a few settings that we have to do particularly with respect to the smtp server that we are going to use to send this particular email okay and that we have to do in our settings.py file to go back here and there are a few uh, variables that we need to set the first one is basically the email host right so this is the smtp server that we'll be using so for example if you are going to use gmail's smtp server it's going to be smtp.gmail.com okay this is the smtp server for gmail similarly you would have um a smtp server um address for any of the email service provider that you wish to use okay yahoo or any of these transactional email services as well you can use okay so that is one second is the email port that we have to mention okay so typically it is 587 but you have to refer to your email service provider what is the email port next is the email host user basically the username to authenticate to this particular um, smtp server so for example jeringer 61 at gmail.com okay next is the email host password all right so the password of this user to authenticate to this uh, smtp server so whatever is the password we have to put here finally we have to also mention whether we are we want to use tls okay so it's either a true or a false okay so for my case it is going to be true and finally we have to also mention what is the from address so we have to mention what is the default from email which will appear in the inbox of the user so for example something like notifications or password at so and so.com you know this kind of a thing right so for now i'll keep it um, same as that of the user yeah so it will uh, when the users 
inbox we'll see that it is coming from jerenjoy61 at gmail.com right these are few of the settings that we have to put now for you whatever is the correct settings um, you have to put it as per your smtp service then only through this smtp server the email will be sent to the user okay only then the email will be sent to the user right and the email uh, the email that the user receive will be this with this link okay great now what will happen after the email has been sent we have to redirect this particular user somewhere right saying that okay we have sent an email to you okay we have to do that so for that we have to create uh, utilize a new view called password reset done view okay so that is this this one the password reset done view okay so we'll say path password reset done auth views dot password reset done view dot s view and name equals password reset done okay now the html file corresponding to this is the password reset done dot html so this is the page which will be shown to the user when he enters the recovery email id so this i will keep it similar to the password reset form in the sense the this thing so i would say recovery email sent recovery email sent no forms form is not required in this case i'll just mention h3 recovery email sent uh, in recovery email has been sent to your email id if it exists okay so what we are essentially telling uh, the user is that if the email id that you have entered exists in our database it will send uh, an email to your email id okay i'll just let's make a text center okay so let's recap what we have done so far we added a link uh, in our login page so that the user can reset the password on clicking on this link he, we, uh, the, the application will ask for an email id okay and when we enter the email id let's say like jerenjaw61 at gmail.com the application will send a recovery email in this format so in the password reset uh, email.html in this format with this link the application will send an email um, using the smtp server whose details we entered in the settings.py file okay now the user will receive the email all right uh, and with this link and in this link if you see there is a link for password reset confirm okay so we need to enter the path for password reset confirm as well okay so let's do that let's go to urls.py and mention path password reset confirm Both views dot the password reset confirm view dot as view. I'll just double check whether it is actually password reset confirm. Yes, it's password reset confirm view as view with name 
as password reset confirm okay so what this view does is when the user clicks on the link in the email uh, it they will uh, the application will take the user to a form where um, it asks for a new password um, and you know it basically has to enter the new password twice okay that's what this particular form will do so to do that we need to create again an html file called password reset confirm dot html so if you go back we'll see here it has to be in password reset confirm dot html file let's go back to a registration folder and enter a new file okay this again will be similar to our login dot html we just minor changes let's say reset password similarly here as well this remains the same here i will say reset password okay and i will remove this link for for code password okay looks good so uh, i'll just mention reset not reset password okay so now uh when the user clicks on the link here he will be taken to the form to this form here right so let's see this in action let's go back to our page click on forward password i'll mention my email jerinjo61 at gmail.com mention send oops what happened oh okay 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 there are two um, two parameters along with the password reset confirm i forgot that sorry there are these two arguments so uidb64 and token so i just copy this and in the urls.py we have to mention this as slugs so slug yeah and a slug token this is how we have to mention for password reset confirm these are the two parameters that will actually identify that particular user right so that way it is there now let's retry again let's go back cancel this we'll try again jerenjo61 at gmail.com yes we have mentioned recovery email sent why is it showing twice let me go back oh, okay i already have this <laughs> okay i'll refresh yeah so we'll say recovery email sent a recovery email has been sent to your email id if it exists okay now let's go back to our uh, inbox let's refresh and see if the email has come yes i've got the email and yeah it looks safe we have received so this is the format right hi we have received a password re reset request from you please cl click on the link below to reset your password so here yeah, this is the link to reset our password we can make this as fancy as you like we can make it as fancy as you like no no issues i'll click on this i get this form for reset password i'll add a new password and i'll mention reset okay so everything else is okay it's just that we have to add a new path for password reset complete to show the success message uh, that it, the reset has been complete right we have to add that final one so let's see this is the one okay so uh, nothing much here uh, we will just add the path which says 
password reset complete with auth views dot password reset complete view as view name is password reset complete yeah so I'll refresh this particular page again okay let's let's re, uh, retry it again so I'll go back here login log of password enter it goes let's wait it has come again look safe enter entering new password reset success message ah we forgot the password reset complete dot html as well so because this this page right we have to show this page in our format right so let's add that so that is password reset complete dot html this again will be similar to let's say this let's say password reset complete your password has been reset please login now right so if i refresh this i'll get this password reset complete your password has been reset please login now okay so that entire flow is now complete let's try it once more just to verify that everything is fine so go login forgot password enter your email id send we got this okay wait for the new email it has come look safe click on the email and get this enter the new password reset password reset complete your password has been reset please login now now we can go back with the uh, to the login page and then login using the new password okay this is the entire process so multiple views that we have used basically but overall let's just recap everything so that it is clear the first thing basically is to provide a password reset link here right so this is the link that we provided now then we added the url path to password reset so that is going to be in our urls.py file and here we have mentioned password reset using the password reset view right now once the password reset view is used it will go and check for uh, the password reset form.html right this is the form where the um, email id uh, needs to be provided and the user will click on send the email will now be sent using this uh, password reset email.html right and we have to provide this link which the user can um, click on and then they'll be able to enter the new password right so this is the link that is provided now the email will be sent using the smtp details uh, or the smtp server details that we provided in the settings.py file okay now once the user um, has entered the email id and clicked on send once the email has been successfully sent they will have to be redirected to a 
new file a new um, page so this is the page the password reset done.html page which follows the url path uh, of this one password reset done right so this will show that the recovery email has been sent okay next the user receives the email id uh, sorry receives the recovery email with a link okay once they click on that link they will be redirected to a form uh, to a page with uh, an option to enter the password twice okay that's what we are doing here password reset confirm with two arguments of uid as well as the token okay now uh, to view this particular uh, uh, form we have to create this password reset for confirm.html file right here and then the person enters the two uh, 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 the password twice clicks on uh, reset once the reset is successful you will be redirected to the password reset complete page okay which uses the password reset complete view and then gets redirected to this password reset complete page right where we inform the user that the password reset has been complete you can now log in to the application using the new password okay so this is the entire flow to the uh, password reset process okay so i hope uh, that is clear for everyone um, i hope that is useful this is useful to you if it is please uh, do like and share the video and for more videos like this kindly subscribe to my channel thank you